Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here so late? Oh, I, uh, had a little mix-up at my apartment. On the street, huh? I know the look. You're in the right place. Nothing to be ashamed of. I know, I just... I hate to take resources from people who need them. Guess what, pal? Right now, you need them. You got a point. Thanks, Gloria. Bro, this face model is horrible. Looks like this, I guess. Hope May's couch is comfortable. What's that for? I, I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, oh yeah, because we got... You okay. are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Are you sure you can spare that money? Easily. Working here leaves very little time to spend money, and I'm just fine with that. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. Okay, in the sound. God damn it. Humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Upgrade gear in the village. What we got? Helping Howard. Okay. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, 
rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? Damn. So many pigeons. Ah, shit. Alright. Oh, you do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Wait a minute. Who wants to do that? Oh, what the hell? Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the Fisk construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched a ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne's. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex. Might have just left the stain on my suit? Clarence. Guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Uh, give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Fly away, please!
now, it's Pigeon. Oh, come back, little birdie! It is my responsibility to catch that pigeon. I can't believe I said that. Careful with my adoring public. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. Another battle between Spider-Man and these demon mask gunmen threatening the lives of New Yorkers. I understand our next caller lives in the area. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in the shipyard that was closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in the area. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fisk. He's been using it to smuggle guns. Grenade! Yeah. Military grade ordinance! Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bomb strikes. But wait, here's a 50 megaton payload of fact. While Spider Man tried to grab the glory for himself, chasing one shot, another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. This, all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. But these demons, either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just don't care. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? to help. You know these little guys pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. Ha! A pigeon. And the chase is on. I hope nobody sees me doing this. Thank you. 
pigeon. Oh, come back, little birdie. Pigeons. And the chase is on. This pigeon knows the city better than I do. Pigeon. Come on. He's a fast one. the name. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moping. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? 
Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. Oh, no, there it goes! I wonder if pigeons eat spiders.
pigeon. Come on. He's a fast one. Two. Hey, slow down! Man, I wish I spoke pigeon. Fucking leave me alone. Oh. Pigeon alert! Oh, come back, little birdie! No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Dad says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man.